Let me now very quickly go across to Mr. Sushil Modi, senior leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, also member of parliament for the BJP uh, in Rajya Sabha. Mr. Modi, thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. I just want to start by asking you, are you for or against prohibition? See, he is blaming us that we are against prohibition. It is totally false. We were with uh, for prohibition and when Nitish Kumar announced in 2016 uh, this prohibition, at that time we were not uh, the ruling party, we were in opposition. In spite of that, we supported the, uh, this prohibition. And today also we are for prohibition. We are only asking for to कि समीक्षा करने की बात हम जो कर रहे हैं only how to implement this prohibition so we are not saying that lift this prohibition so we are not against lifting of prohibition in Bihar we are only asking the chief minister there are some lacuna in implementation of prohibition otherwise how four lakh people have been jailed in Bihar in Gujarat I don't know how many people are there in jail but Nitish ji you have jailed four lakh people in jail and more ninety percent of these people are SC ST and OBC and every day more than 1,545 people are being arrested and the whole police machinery is involved in this implementing prohibition and they are earning crores of crores of money. There is a parallel economy in Bihar. So we are questioning these things. But Mr. Modi, I want to understand from you, you were just about uh, till three months back, you were part of the government uh, in Bihar. Did you raise these issues that you are now, in fact, telling us? Because that's what the chief minister and the opposition and the uh, ruling party, uh, uh, you know, the Gadband and RJD is also saying, you saw everything was okay when you were in par with the chief minister. Now, suddenly, everything becomes wrong in Bihar. Prohibition becomes a problem. No, n not only once. Dozen times when we, when we met together, when there was a meeting with the BJP leaders and Nitish Kumar, we always raised this issue. Ki, you, you, how to tackle this issue of prohibition? It has become a big headache. It has become a big problem. So it is not just, just, just once, but dozen times we raised these issues with Nitish Kumar. Though it is true that we never raised in public because when you are in government, you can't criticize the government or the chief minister by going public. But we have always, always raised these issues with the chief minister of Bihar, Nitish Kumar. You've raised these issues with the Chief Minister of Bihar, but uh, before I ask you my third question, I just want to play out for you, sir, and for our viewers, what Deputy Chief Minister Tejasvi Yadav, when questioned about the liquor debt, had said today. So I just want to play out, uh, bear with me, sir, for a moment, and just listen in to what Tejasvi Yadav said. <laughs> जहां 1214 लोगों की मृत्यु हुई कर्नाटका भाग दूसरे नंबर पर कर्नाटक पहला भी भाजपा शासित और दूसरा भी भाजपा शासित राज कर्नाटका यानी 909 लोगों की जहरीली शराब से मृत्यु हुई उसके बाद पंजाब आता है 725 और उसके बाद फिर चौथा नंबर पे हरियाणा आता है Mr. Modi, you heard what, uh, in fact, uh, Deputy Chief Minister of uh, Bihar, Tejasvi Yadav, is saying. He is quoting uh, the data which has been provided by the central government in the parliament. And this is that figure from between 2016 to 2022. I beg your pardon, 2017 to 2022. Now, if you look at this data, sir, he seems to be suggesting that there are double standards as far as the BJP is concerned. You are raising these issues in Bihar because you are in opposition. You don't have a word to say in other states which are ruled by the Bharatiya Janata Party. No, 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 no. See, in Madhya Pradesh, if such incidents happen, at that time, kya uh, wahan ke chief minister ne is prakar ka bayan diya tha kya? And there is no prohibition in in, in Madhya Pradesh, there is prohibition in, in Bihar. So if a Bihar, and this is not only one incident, you have quoted only one or two incidents of Madhya Pradesh, or Rajasthan or some other state, but I can quote more than two dozen incidents that have taken place in Bihar in the last six years. So each and every month there is some incidents that are taking place. Or badi sankhya mein aankhano ko chipa diya jata hai. They hide the figures because people are so afraid of coming out in open 
because of the fear of the local police stations ki they go out and they cremate their bodies in some other places people go for in the, in the private nursing homes for treatment to isliye aisa nahi ki masrak mein agar 40 logon ke marne ka samachar hai to police kabhi shikar nahi karegi police will always say they have died because of some of some uh, unknown reason hmm. and still bihar government is not has not accepted that 40 people have died because of whose tragedy they will always say that they have, they have died because of some other unknown reasons this way it is not good that you always compare okay. with other states i am dealing with bihar to kya bihar ke andar if something happened in madhya pradesh then it is justified in bihar can you say that it is justified because such incident even happened in gujarat or some other states so ye not at all so it is not a good comparison sir it is nobody is comparing the deaths nobody is even saying that uh, because it has happened in some other state uh, it's all right if it is happening in bihar that's why we are raising the question whether the booze ban the liquor ban in bihar is actually working and is it time to rethink about this but what i want to in fact ask you you've raised some very very serious issues you are saying that uh, deaths are not reported so you were in government till 3 months back agar itna gorak dhanda chal raha tha why was it that at that point of time you did not raise any question till the time you were the deputy chief minister till the time you were in government you thought everything is okay but only when you are out of the government now you are seeing every you know all these issues no no because because they are also afraid because they are also afraid because seeing implementation of uh, uh, prohibition in bihar no other state dare to do these things because they see it very difficult and or me fir karo it was it was not the decision of rjd or bjp it was the individual decision of nitish kumar and then we supported him it is not that there was all party meeting and, and he asked what i should do he first announced the decision of prohibition and then he came with to bjp and rjd and other political parties so naturally we will support him who will oppose if some same cm is saying that i want to implement prohibition who will say that you don't uh, uh, you don't implement prohibition in our state sir lekin aapne jab aap minister the main fir wohi sawal puch raha hu aap deputy chief minister the sir aapki aap unke sath abhi tak satta mein the kyun aisa hua ki ye sab itna cheeze ho rahi thi tab aapko ye sab nahi dikha ki uh, the government is not giving the right numbers the government is not doing anything about uh, the policy you did not ask for uh, you know a relook into this policy yes i told you i i, I told you i was not a chief minister i was not a gagra mantri i was not a excise minister i talked to cm i never came in open but i talked to cm and i i tell that uh, these things are happening it is giving a bad image to the government but uh, do you expect that being a deputy cm i should come in the open and oppose the chief minister so this is not good but uh, I, i always mentioned him i i always talked uh, i i always talked to nitish kumar ki ye cheeze jo ho rahi hai wo theek nahi ho rahi hai so am i to understand sir that because you are chair चार, aapki kursi aapki kursi zaruri thi us samay logo se zyada आपने चार सवाल कहा था मैंने चार साल का जवाब दे दिया कृपया मुझे और चैनल्स भी बैठे हुए हैं तो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपको थैंक यू ऑल राइट मिस्टर मोदी थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्पेरिंग द टाइम